Hi hey everyone, so today I am going to be discussing a little bit about your positioning when you're driving with a Scott DSi system or possibly another um, high-tech system. Uh, so when you're in your wheelchair, there's always a comfortable spot um, that you like to sit in. Um, so you want to make sure that when you are measured for your system that your wheelchair um, is, you know, in the correct area in relation to the wheel. And, you know, they'll make sure that they measure you, but you have to be very vocal about your comfortability because, I mean, this is your life and you're driving. Um, so make sure that you're very vocal about what you want um, in terms of your positioning. So for me, I actually recently got a new wheelchair and I had to get repositioned and I have a little bit of a regret because the man who did um, the lock system over again said that he didn't have to move the system and my wheelchair was going to fit just fine, which at the time I thought it felt fine, but it doesn't really feel, you know, that great. So. Um, you know, over the course of like, you know, the next few months, I'm still seeing if I, you know, really need to go back and get it redone. But um, today, I feel like I'm a little bit close to my wheel. So um, because of that, I'm going to be driving a little more carefully. Um, but I mean, you really can't control these things. And like, you can try your best to position yourself properly in the morning with whoever you know is positioning you or if you position your, yourself. But at the end of the day, until you get in the driver's seat, you won't really be able to tell like what you feel like. So make sure that you drive cautiously when you don't feel um, extremely comfortable in your seating. Um, <clears throat> By driving cautiously, I mean first driving slowly. So um, right now I'm in a 30 mile uh, per hour area. I think I'm going like 25 or 22, something like that. Um, and the other thing that you would want to do is just stay back. So right now there's no one in front of me, um, but if there were someone in front of me, I would want to keep my car a little bit behind, um, just in case um, they decided to make a, a short stop, I would be able to stop before I were to get their car. So right now I'm pulling into a park. Look and see, okay, I can make it. And I'm going to park. Make a little bit of a wide turn here, and there's someone here because central bank is advertisement. <laughs> central bank is system. Okay. So now I'm gonna put the car in park. Now the other issue here is you know when you this particular system you have to pull the wheel back to put the brake on, and then you have to put your car in shift. Now, uh, not put your car in shift, put your car in park. You have to shift your car. So the buttons for all that is on the front of the wheel, but it's also on the side over there. Um, right now, I can't really reach that very well, so what I would use is over, over here, but I have to make sure I have enough strength to you know, keep the brake on here and shift this properly before I let go of the brakes and make sure that I'm in park. Um, so that's about it. I'm going to get my little stick here now to turn the car off. So I have, you know, like different ways to do things. Elder Wands is one of them. So, I mean, I couldn't use it for the shift at the moment because I had to hold the wheel, but it's fine. So now I'll use this button here to back out of the lock system. My car is a mess, but um, that's the end of the video for now. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.